Hello guys, welcome to Civil Engineering YouTube channel. Here in this video, we will talk about how to provide lapping in a column. Okay, guys, this all the information about lapping is as per IS code one three nine two zero. Okay, so let us first uh, tell me uh, what is lapping. Okay, so the overlapping of two bars side by side up to the design length is called lapping. Okay. Uh, the overlapping of two bars okay from this side to this side is known as lapping okay and now uh, later i am telling you how much should be the lapping distance uh, how much should be the uh, spacing between the uh, stirrups at the lapping distance okay so let us move forward now why lapping is necessary okay so if the required length of a single bar is short okay for example we are constructing a column okay and uh, the steel goes up to here and now uh, the steel becomes short to reach up to here okay so what will we do we have to add another rod and bind it together okay so for this lapping is necessary at this region okay again to make the strong bonding between the steel rods okay lapping is uh, uh, necessary to make a strong bonding between the steel rod okay now guys let us move forward now how much should be the minimum and maximum lapping length okay so lapping length means from here to here okay uh, till where the steel rod are overlapped this zone is known as lapping length now the question is how much should be the maximum and minimum lapping length okay so the straight length of lapping should not be less than 15 times the diameter of the bars or 20 centimeter okay it should not be less than 20 centimeter or the 15 times the diameter of the bars if the diameter of the bars is 12 mm then it have to multiply with 50 and the resultant uh, value will be the overlapping length okay so it will be the minimum overlapping length let us tell, take an example we have used 10 mm of steel rod then we have to use 15 times it means 15 times the 10 mm it becomes how much 150 mm okay so 150 mm should be what minimum overlapping length of the steel rod okay or 20 centimeter 20 centimeter means 200 mm okay because one centimeter make what 10 mm okay and next point is the maximum lapping should be up to 50 times now uh, we have learned what should be the minimum overlapping distance but how how much should be the maximum okay uh, because our structure also uh, should be the economical as well as safe so for economical purpose we have to add 50 times the diameter depend on the structural element okay the maximum lapping should be how much 50 times the diameter it means if the steeler has used 10 mm then we have to multiply with 50 and give it uh, 500 mm as a lapping length okay now the next point is if the top bar of the column has a smaller diameter than bottom bars then the lapping length is calculated for the smaller diameter guys this is very important points for example uh, if a steel rod has used like this and another steel rod has used like this and this steel rod is of 20 mm and this steel rod is of how much 16 mm then which rod is preferred to take the lapping length we have to prepare, uh, prepare a smaller diameter okay 16 mm okay for example 15 times we have to multiply with 15 times then we have to multiply 15 times with the smaller diameter of the steel rod okay 16 okay so let us move forward here uh, in number four the spacing of stirrups in the lapping zone okay what is stirrups guys stirrups is the steel rod thin steel rod which bind all the main rods okay this is known as stirrups these horizontal uh, rods are known as stirrups okay which bind all the main rods okay now the spacing of the stirrups in a lapping zone in lapping zone should be minimum as compared to the regular column center to center uh, stirrups spacing okay guys if the if our column column is like this and stirrups is uh, in the spacing of 300 300 mm okay this spacing is 300 mm then at lapping zone 
at lapping zone we have to prefer less than 300 mm as a spacing between the stirrups okay we have to prefer 250 mm or 200 mm as a spacing between the stirrups okay now the next point is how much should be uh, joggle length of the steel guys let us uh, tell me first of all what is joggle length you can see in the picture joggle length is the bended part of the steel rod for example uh, this steel rod has gone like this and another steel rod has gone like this okay this and this okay so this length this bended length inclined length is known as what joggle length it should not be less than six times the steel rod okay so if the steel rod is of 10 mm then six times means into six equals to 60 mm okay so the joggle length of the steel rod should not be less than how much six times of the steel rod okay now guys uh, next things to know about the joggle length is the joggle part of the pa uh, bar should be placed over the inner surface of the bottom bars as shown in the figure to get the uniform clear cover from the concrete surface okay guys clear cover is the distance between the steel rod and the concrete surface okay this is known as clear cover okay to maintain the equal distance of the clear cover throughout the column we have to bend this rod okay we have to uh, bend this rod like this okay like we have to provide here inclination again in this rod we have to provide inclination like this okay so this point is telling us that from this side from this side we have to uh, incline the rod in this direction and from this side we have to incline the steel rod in this direction why to maintain the clear cover in equal distance from uh, throughout the column okay so this point is very important now let us move toward another point where to provide lapping in column now it is the biggest question and very important question in column for example this is our column now at which point at the end of the column or at the middle of the column we have to provide lapping okay so let us see the steel rods should be lapped in zone b in alternate way as shown in the figure here zone b is this okay in alternate way okay so here uh, you can see in this picture this is in alternate way one lapping is here and another lapping here one lapping is here and another lapping is here okay and uh, if the uh, steel rod is like this which is lapped in same horizontal line then it will be uh, incorrect okay it will be danger for uh, uh, lapping okay so uh, we should prefer in alternate way lapping should be preferred in alternate way okay the top and bottom portion of the column i i.e. zone A L Y 4 should be uh, avoided as there will be a maximum moment in the zone due to lateral force acting on the column okay guys so uh, at the mid span here you can see if the length of column is L then L by 4 part of the column okay L by 4 part of the column will be what tension zone and again the L by 4, 4 part of the uh, column from bottom is the tension zone and uh, at the middle part the remaining part will be the bending moment zero so we have to lapping lap the uh, column at the mid of the column okay but if there is not such condition then we can add uh, between this area okay by leaving l by 4 uh, part from above and l by 4 part from the bottom of the column and the remaining area should be the lapping zone okay if we provide the uh, lapping uh, at the bottom or above the column then uh, if there is lateral force acted on the column due to seismic uh, load or any lateral force then the column may bend like this so it may fail it may fail uh, from the top or it may fail from the bo bottom as there is a maximum uh, bending moment at the top and the bottom of the steel load okay so we have to provide the lapping at the uh, bending moment zero area or uh, zero zone so guys these are the most important points about the lapping in the column the lapping zone the spacing between the stirrups and the maximum and the minimum overlapping length etc so uh, this much for today please like this video and subscribe my channel for new update about civil engineering thank you